Are we there? We're there. Right, hello, hello. Uh, we're going to Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. I know we're recording a separate one for YouTube for later, so we can polish it up and make it uh, seem a lot less unprofessional. Get rid of all the swearing. Yeah, all the swearing and all the, uh, all the guffs. So um, it guffs in more way than one. But anyway, we've got um, a Fender Custom Shop evening on the 1st of October. It's a, a bit of a special thing that we're doing. Uh, we've got a full band coming in. Uh, there's the guys from the Fender Custom Shop. There's a master builder, Paul Waller, and also Mike Lewis from the Custom Shop as well. They're going to be talking about everything that makes their guitars so special. And there is a full range of seven different guitars here that have be been designed specifically for the event. Each guitar has been designed by a Fender master builder and uh, they've become what's known as a master design series guitar. This is something that we've seen in the past where John Cruz did some and there was the John English 59 Strat, which a lot of people are, are familiar with. So it's basically a guitar that if you ordered it from a master builder, it would be, you know, seven, 8,000 pound master built guitar, but it's specced out by those guys, but then built uh, by the team, you know, by the regular team builders or whatever you want to call them. So what we're going to do is we're going to bust these open we're going to uh, uh, go through some of the specs and just see what they're like. Um, I just want to remind everyone as well, if you haven't seen, we're running a competition as well, with, uh, uh, which is like a raffle type sort of thing, but it's, it's to win a uh, Fender Custom Shop guitar, uh, a team built guitar of your own spec basically. If, if you haven't entered already, it's £10 per entry. And if you can come to the evening as well, obviously you don't have to buy a ticket or anything like that, it's free entry to the event. But if you do want to come down, um, and you buy a raffle ticket as well. However many raffle tickets you buy, we'll give you the same again. So if you buy 50 quid's worth of tickets, five tickets, we'll give you an extra five as well. So you've got more chance of winning the guitar, you know, and this is a guitar that could be worth up to three and a half, four grand, depending on what you greedy lot spec out. So why don't we, um, why don't we, yeah, go nuts. We go nuts, can't they? So let's, let's get started with the first one. Why don't you uh, whip this one open, Mr. Jack? Look, Jack's got a bit of a tan, he's been on holiday. A minor tan. A minor tan. Right, so what have you got here? This is a 56 Strat Relic, which is a uh, Todd Krauss spec guitar. So Todd Krauss, famous master builder for Jeff Beck and, and Eric Clapton, amongst many others. We've got a few of his guitars in stock already posh, as well. On the posh oh, table. I'm right in the way. Let's go to our Laney table. Ooh. Bit of paisley, very, very nice. So this is uh, all the body. It's got a set of hand-wound Fat 50s pickups. Uh, it's fairly, fairly standard kind of late 60s style Strat, I guess. Bullet truss rod, so it's kind of a little bit, this, this isn't a 56 Strat. That's the Fessler. Oh dear, 56. I've got it completely wrong, haven't I? I love a big head stuff on a Strat. Though, See, I? I'm glad we was doing this one again. Right, 69 Strat by Greg Fessler, beautiful. Right, it's got a hand-wound 69 Strat Relic pickup. It's got a Fat 50s middle and a Texas Special uh, bridge pickup there as well, all hand-wound, 9.5 inch radius. Um, yeah, nice big headstock. Vintage, late 60s style tuners, very, very nice. And um, really nice kind of uneven colouring on the neck and the headstock, which is, is very authentic quite, um, looking, I would say. Quite a, quite a soft sort of, it's not it's not completely satin, but it doesn't feel super no. glossy. We'll no. see, uh, look at the pit guard as well. It's like a sparkle type thing going on there as well. That's, That's nuts. cool, very nice. Good place to start. Yeah, so it's got, um, what has it got on there? Closet classic finish as well, so it's pretty lightly <coughs> aged. Is there just a little bit of checking on there as well? Yeah, cool. All right, let's, let's uh, get this one on the, on the rack. I'm gonna make my coffee as well. Have a coffee, right? Uh, what, what's next? So, 56, right? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So, this is the Todd Krauss one 56 strap relic. What? I need, I obviously, need that coffee. All right, here we go. I'll pump this one out. Tweed action. Right, let me get those specs again. So this one was designed by Todd Krauss. It's got a bit of a um, Ancho Pablano vibe to it, that one. 56 Strat, 
black pit guard. Is that um, like a Baker like type one? I think that is. Let's have a look. Yeah, so these are the hand round fat 50s pickups. 9.5 radius. Uh, fairly, yeah, I guess a fairly kind of standard spec. What do you think, Jack? Have a little gander. Lovely neck profile. Yeah, 9.5 radius. Medium jumbo frets. A bit of a V on it as well. Yeah, it's got um, the actual <coughs> shape. Is, where does it say this? The actual shape. Uh, 50, yeah, it's the 56 strap, uh, 1056 profile, so quite a nice V profile there. Nice bit of lacquer checking on there too. It's got a greeny tinge to it yeah, as well. Yeah, that's nice. A little bit of a Nile Rogers, yeah, almost. Yeah, a bit of that as well, yeah. Middle pick up, get it straight in there. Ah, it's got a three-way switch. Three-way switch. So we'll get the balancing going. Shielded pick guard and shielded pickups. I know that's something that he does normally, kind of, um, does the shielding all underneath it kind of changes the uh, the response of the pickups a little bit kind of uh, shifts the uh, the top end a little bit as well which is quite a cool thing okay very nice cool. 55 desert tan apparently nice. right this is the 53 telly this is paul waller's guitar do you want to open that one up jack yep. this is um paul waller's actually coming on the night to uh talk about guitars and all the other the stuff that he does at the custom shop and i guess he's going to kind of uh be rather infused about this one, since that's his actual spec. I think I might be as well. Yeah, I think this one's got um, something a bit different that I don't think I've ever seen before, which is a, a mid boost on a telly. Wow. So it's got it's got the Clapton uh, mid boost under the pit guard, or the um, that's where the battery is, I guess. So it's probably mm. I'm guessing it's on the, on the uh, where is it? I guess it's probably on the t on the tone pot, but. As, you know, we've obviously not got these guitars yet and out and tried them. So it's got a set of underwound, hand-wound, no-caster pickups. I guess he's done that, so it doesn't become too much when you yeah. put the mid-boost on. I guess the one's going to be a bit of a uh, secret weapon because it kind of looks pretty standard, doesn't it? Yeah. It's got that standard kind of 52 enjoy, style enjoy telly look. Master design. They've all got these from so far. They've all got that master design neck plate on there. 9.5 radius and medium jumbo frets. Which is something that you know is pretty much standard now. Uh, hand wound, no caster neck pickup, and a hand wound broadcaster pickup in the bridge. So that's the the Paul Waller model. I think I want to leave the the John Cruise one to the end. I think that's going to be a bit crazy, crazy. Uh, what have we got here? Let's Dennis Galushka. Okay, let me pull out the specs for this one. She's saying, but we'll soon find out, won't we? I'll tell you, it's a 67 Telly relic. relic. But no, no idea of the colour. Oh, olive green with a slight burst. Oh, this could be your one, Jack. Oh. oh, yeah, that's cool. Man, that is sweet. Double bound, lovely neck on it as well. Look at that neck. Nice bit of figuring on that. That's wicked. Yeah, check that out, Jack. So it's got hand wound 67 Tele pickups in there, a 63 Strat style C shaped neck, 9.5 inch radius, uh, again with medium jumbo frets, and a double A flame maple neck with a nice, nice tint That's to it. Easy. Let's get a shot of that fingerboard. That is a nice colour. Yeah. I think that's got to be my favourite so far. I agree with that. A couple of people have said we do get a bit too excited on these unboxing videos, but yeah. it's justified in this well, case. to them, I, I would say, do <coughs> one if you yeah. don't like it. Uh, next one is EU Master... Right, Dale Wilson. We'll, we'll kind of save him for just before John Cruise, I think. And what's this one here? It's uh, Jason Smith. Smith-o! Right, so 52 telly. Hand-wound, twisted telly, neck pickup hand wound broadcaster bridge pickup. It's got an offset seam roasted ash body. Um, and the colour is 52 Chevrolet Bittersweet. Okay. With a maple rift saw neck. Hand wound pickup said, yeah, roasted ash body. Guess has it got a roasted neck? Um, let's see. Oh, mama. Hey. Wow. That's like an old uh, copper finish that I've seen them do before. I bet that's going to be super, super light. Pick it up, Jack. Is it super light? 
Uh, Superish. Not super. Super. It, it's, it's light, but um, it's light, not super light. Not super light. That is a crazy colour. Normal, yeah, nine point five radius. It's got a big, yeah. It's got the big, uh, uh, big neck, no yeah. cast U profile on it. Light relic. Yeah, it's a very, very. What did you cool. say this was called? It's Chevrolet bittersweet. Okay. Apparently, <laughs> roasted ash body. So. I don't think we've tried, we've had anything custom shot with <coughs> a roasted body. Not on a telly yet, anyway. We've got, I know we've got a couple of strats in uh, at the moment. All right, no, another nice Marvelous. one. That's perhaps one of the slightly more uh, restrained ones, I guess, out of the bunch. I like that one a lot. Which is exactly what the John Cruise one isn't going to be, I'm guessing. Uh, right, here we go. This is the Dale Wilson one next. So Dale's a good friend of the shop, built some amazing guitars, we absolutely love his guitars. Is there a delivery driver going to come and ruin our fun now? Yeah. No, it's probably not that, it's probably not that, but why don't we get the delivery driver in on the video, just to make, just to have a laugh. Right, so this is, yeah, like I say, this one was designed by Dale Wilson, 65 Strat, Hamway on Fat 60s pickups, uh, in pale sonic blue. It's got a, a blender control on there to go the front and the back pickup. Uh, 9.5 radius, all the stuff. Here comes Mr. Delivery Man. What you got for us? No swear, no swearing. You're in our uh, Instagram live video. Hello. Wow, I think we undersold this one. I know. Right in that moment. Dale's the man. Pale Sonic Blue. Look at that figured neck as well. Flip it around, Jacko. Look at that, beautiful. It's got that like a bit of a gold undercoat there going on. Yeah. So 9.5 radius, 65 Strat C neck profile. That's the best one so far. Looks like Dale's been giving them a few tips on how to wear, uh, how the boss shows them how it's done. The master, he's the king of relic in my opinion. Uh, yeah. Yeah, his relics are something else, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so it's got um, yeah desert sand bottom colour and the top colour is pale sonic blue. So you've got that nice transition style logo up there as well. All the body, yeah, another another beauty. Right, so this next one is the modern rock strap, spec'd out by John Cruz. So this has got an all the all the body as well. It's roasted as well. NOS finish, um, RSD strap bridge. It's a bright silver slash blue metallic. So it's gonna be fairly, fairly rude, I imagine. All right. So it's got a painted peg head, or headstock, as uh, everyone else calls it. Yep, look at that. So it's a, a telly pickup, but in a strap. So I think we, I think we need to take this one outside, boys because this is pretty sweet. We need to get it in and the finish. So it's a broadcaster bridge pickup, that's light. So that's got a, uh, a roasted flame maple neck, 12 inch radius, a large C-shaped profile. It's got two John Cruise um, strap pickups in there as well. And it's a, uh, what is that there? Strap blender switch. I think it's just a three, no five way switch on there. Says it says a three there. Uh, Dunlop 6100s. I think we need to get this outside. Let's yeah. get this outside, see if we can get a bit of the fleck action. Check that out. Tom's got a shirt like this. <laughs> Speckly, sparkly. Matching headstock as well. And cool posh, posh buttons. So, that's it. Did we save the best one for last? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Save the best, save the best visual for us. Yeah, absolutely. That's the that's definitely going to be one that stands out when it's hanging on the wall. Yeah. So these guitars, uh, they're going to be. They're, blah, 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 blah. We're going to get them up on the website, get them all photographed and stuff. But they're not they're not available to purchase until uh, basically Monday when we've got the vendor custom shop event. So make sure you get yourselves down, enter the competition, come and check these guitars out. It's going to be an awesome night of of uh, guitar playing. And it's just going to be, it's just going to be good. It's going to be some good deals as well, I think. I should imagine there'll be some deals. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see, see you, you soon. Bye bye. Bye now.